morning, Calvary. Ruba, Wason, and I say good morning, and we miss you so much. Today we're standing by my garden, and in there there's some lettuce and some rubus and some jalapeno peppers and many, many weeds. Oops, but they're not supposed to be weeds in there. Anyway, we're standing by my garden because we have the opportunity to hear um, Miss Nancy tell us about the scripture today, the story about planting seeds and watering and planting for God. So I just wanted to remind you before she, she comes on that we are here to act like Jesus. So those who don't know Jesus will get to know him in a different way and then God can grow their faith. So welcome Miss Nancy. Good morning, Calvary. It's great to see you again. And I'm in the Godly Playroom again, where I continue to miss all your smiling faces on Sunday morning, but I wanted to share a little bit of a lesson with you today. So I'm sure most of you know what these are. It's a packet of seeds. I'm gonna pour them out. You're not gonna be able to see them, but they're really, really, really tiny. And although they are tiny, they grow up to be a plant like this. I planted these seeds last fall because I love the smell of lavender. And when you rub these leaves and smell it, oh my gosh, it's the most wonderful smell in the world to me. But this plant started out from seeds just as tiny as this and then grew up. We're going to talk today about a verse in the Bible that comes from the book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, which is in the New Testament. And the lesson is about even though we are the ones that plant the seeds and water the seeds and take care of the seeds, that God is really the one that grows the plant and makes it healthy. Um, and do you want to know something else? God plants seeds in you too. When you come to Sunday school and your teachers talk to you about all the stories in the Bible and God's love, and you talk to your parents about how you can be God's hands and feet in the world, that is amazing too. And God's planting those seeds and nurturing those seeds. So one day, those seeds that get planted in you are going to allow you to grow up and be something amazing because God's going to be taking care of you all of that time. And you might grow up to be a pastor, like Pastor Link or Pastor Braulio. You might grow up to be a policeman or a teacher or a car mechanic or somebody that helps people in a hospital. But God is going to be with you all that way. And you're going to use the lessons that you learned in Sunday school and along the way to know how to treat people and how to be kind and how to love one another, even when it's hard to lo love somebody that might look different from us or somebody that's not even easy to love. Sometimes that's our brother and sister when we fight. But basically, God teaches us to love everybody the same. So I just want you to remember that even we're the ones that plant the seeds, God's the one that enables the seeds to grow and to be healthy and grow into trees. So when you leave your house the next time, I want you to look around at all the trees and the plants in your garden and just realize that God made all those ha things happen from a little tiny seed. And if God can do that with a little tiny seed, he can make your life amazing. So would you pray with me for a second before uh, we go? So fold your hands and pray like we do in Sunday school. I'll say a couple words and then you say them back from wherever you are. Dear God, thank you for planting seeds in my life so that when I grow up, I can share your love and the lessons I learn with everybody I meet. In your name we pray, amen. <laughs> 